Hello and welcome back to my channel. So it's been 11 months since my hair fell out in 2023 and I've been transitioning by cutting the damaged hair slowly until now. I finally decided to get rid of all the dam damage in April. This was right before my five year wedding anniversary so I guess I wanted a new start and we were actually going away so I wanted my hair to be cute for that weekend. So yeah, I was trimming my hair every couple of months and I was getting rid of I'd say about three, three, three to four inches each time. Before this damage, my hair, the longest part of my hair was about 22 inches and my hair now is probably maybe 14 inches if that, 10 to 14 inches, I'm not sure, but it's really short compared to what I had before. So if you like watching people cut their hair, get yourself a drink or get yourself a hot cup of tea and let's do this together. So to start with, I am just showing you the current state of my hair and how much I'd need to cut off to retain my healthy hair. And it looks like it's about four inches. So as you can see, it's a lot of hair to get rid of. By now, we should all know that the technique I used to cut my hair, I got from deeper than hair and I will put her video in the description box. For this technique or method she always starts with the the hair at the crown and the fringe area so that's what I am doing here and I left this bit in because it was actually quite funny that I just couldn't see what I was cutting. I mean trying to cut my hair for a video it's probably one of the most difficult things so yeah it was just funny to me that's why I left this in because I was struggling and I love this scissors because it is so so sharp this is like the most expensive hair tool that I have I bought it on a website that was selling professional scissors <laughs> And it cost me about 50 something pounds, I think 54 pounds. I don't know why, but I think because I was really upset about my hair falling out. I wanted to maybe romanticize the, <laughs> the cutting process a little bit more. So I decided to get a special scissors that I would only ever use for my hair because all my other scissors that I get for my hair, I will end up using to do other things. But with this one, because of how expensive it is, the color, the detail of it, I just love it. So I really literally do not use it for anything else and I only use it for hair. And it's actually cut me before it's that sharp. So after cutting the the fringe area i then combine it to the hairs from the side of my hair so you so if you were to part your hair from ear to ear i use the hair from that and then use the previous hair that i just cut as a guiding mark to cut that hair and i will do that on the other side as well I also love this wide tooth comb by Tangle Teaser. I got it from the Treasure Chest box. So I will put the details of my Treasure Chest box discount code in the description box. But yeah, uh, I love this comb. I love the fact that it has a little brush at the back of it that you can use for, for things like this. I love that when I was doing this, I did not get very scissor happy. I made sure to just cut bit by bit. So I cut off exactly what needed to go. 
and I love that for me and I think in the future I am always going to be very cautious when cutting my hair because before my hair fell out I cut my hair and I cut way too much <laughs> so definitely lesson learned so here I'm separating the crown area off again and I'm going to take a bit more hair at the back just below my crown area in order to give myself some layers I love layers and also as you can see the hair there is pretty bad so I'm going to use the hair from the crown as a guide to cut layers into the back of my hair but it's not going to be a major layer just a tiny little something to give my hair some body So every time I comb it out, it just allows me to get those hairs that I missed the first time. So that's why I comb my hair out a lot in this video. Because it really helps to make sure I am getting everything. And nothing is being left behind. So now I am going to tackle the back of my hair. And I'm going to use the, the hairs from the crown as a guide for that. So I part my hair down the middle. And now I'm just combing to see what it's looking like and what I would need to cut. Excuse the faces that I make. I have no idea why I make all these faces when I'm brushing my hair. <laughs> I cannot explain it to you, but yeah, it happens. So yeah, just ignore that. Ignore that it's, uh, it's happening. <laughs> so now I'm just separating the top off so I can just deal with the hairs at the back. And I kept doing just cutting bits that needed to go but eventually I went off camera to really fix the shape I was just finding it quite difficult to do everything on camera doing things on camera without a mirror so I was basically using the camera as a mirror and it's just really hard So here I had just gone off camera to fix it and this is what I ended up with. I love the shape. I love a good shaped afro. So obsessed. If I ever have tailbone length, it will be shaped as well. I just love hair that has shape. I mean, if your hair is long and it has no shape, it looks okay. But long hair with shape or even short hair with shape, it's just so beautiful to me. I just cannot explain it but yeah also before this trim my wash day was a henna wash day and that was the first time I used henna and I absolutely loved what it did to my hair and I think it stretched out my curls a lot so that's why you can see that my hair is a little bit more fluffy than usual and even my twist out after was just amazing so what I'm doing here, I am going to repeat what I did on my left hand side to this right hand side of my hair. And I basically take you through the steps of how I fixed the shape on this side. So whatever you missed on the other side, you will see me do on this side. So as you can see, I still need to cut a bit more. So I separate a bit more of the hair off and then I leave hair from near the ears and then the back of my head.
so here I'm just about to stretch my hair to check whether the hairs at the back are the same length on each side and I find out that the left hand side is a lot shorter than the right hand side so I needed to cut a bit more from the right hand side so with that information I'm going in to cut a bit more from the right hand side and still being very careful to not overdo the cut so all my cuts are bit by bit <laughs> and I love that I was just so careful with this cut I guess because the <laughs> I was already cutting so much of my hair off it was important that I um I did not get scissor happy because then I'd I'd have nothing left So after being after cutting the bottom part of my hair and being happy with that, I now parted part of that section and added it to this section that I'm about to trim now just to use as a guide. So after combing, I go in to cut a bit more. So this is what I end up with. Now I'm just checking the shape, see if I'm happy with it. So yeah, I think this was it all done. Both sides were looking very similar. So I was happy with it. But when I turned around, I wasn't very happy with the V shape at the back. So I um, went off camera and fixed that off camera and then came back so to do that I divided my hair into four sections so two sections on each side of my hair do you know when you part your hair in the middle then you divide each half into two and then I cut each quarter at the same time so I cut each section together and that's how I ended up with the final results of my hair so that's just to give you an idea of what I did so yeah with with this I wasn't very happy with the back of my hair I thought that there was still much that needed to go so I went and fixed it off camera and that's what you can see on the right hand side you saw it? Mm -hmm. So by this time, every single damaged hair or see-through end was gone. And on the right hand side, I'm showing you my twist out. I think I had this twist in for a few days and here we are away for the weekend celebrating our wedding anniversary but yeah thank you so much for watching see you in my next video bye